Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Victoria. And we're with Bay, Bay of Quinty Pride. Pride. And you're listening to Other Side Live with Jeremy and Joshua Davis. It starts now. The Other Side Media Group and 91X now present The Other Side Radio Show, a program about people who make a difference from all walks of life in Quinty and beyond. And now here are your hosts, Jeremy and Joshua Davis. Yes, and welcome to The Other Side Live. I'm Jeremy T. Davis, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome Lynn and Victoria to the show today. Uh, oh, thank you. Applause and everything. Now, if I can first start out by asking you, how did you guys get involved with, with Bay of Quinty Pride? Hi, everybody. Um, I've been with Bay of Quinty Pride for three years now. This will be my third season at it. It started out with the previous chair asking me if I wanted to be a part of the committee, and I absolutely said yes. I was excited about it. I'm still excited about it. And I'm the current chair. Here I am, and I've recruited a few people of my own, found some good friends in the process. So I, I've heard about the Pride, or the Pride Committee before, and uh, I always kind of wanted to join. And because I'm transitioning, I was on some boards before, but that was because I was a, because of who I knew before. And I wanted to get on a board where I could really put my all and my everything into. And this board, is, it's, they're arguing on my behalf of my existence. So it's, I love putting my time and energy in here. Well, you know... Um isn't that just um, a great um, thing when you know it's something that you um, believe in, something that you are passionate about, and um, you want to make a difference? And, and um, I mean, you made a difference um, in your other vocation in life, but now you're making a difference for this very important cause. Now, can you... Tell our listeners, if you uh, will, and either one of you can take this question. Uh, we didn't uh, uh, rehearse this. This is why this is Other Side Live. But can you uh, tell our listeners or explain to our listeners why events such as what Bay of Quinty Pride does or the month um, of June every year is so fundamentally important, not only for uh, the individuals who necessarily identify with that group, but with the entire community to promote a more uh, inclusionary uh, community for all to come together to um, promote acceptance uh, amongst um, the citizens and the business community. But, but what is it, in your um, opinion or your perspective, that is um, most important about it? Yeah, Jeremy, I can take that. Um, as, to me, it's about representation. Everywhere in the media, you see in books, in movies, in TV shows, greeting cards, magazines, you see hetero couples, which is fine. You don't see a lot of a lot of gay couples. You don't see a lot of trans folks. Um, you don't see a lot of outside the so-called norm. And that, well, may not be hurtful. It it does matter. Representation is key to see people of other cultures, other colors, other identities. Um, that to me is, is the most important part about this month and about this day. It's not about pushing it down people's throats. It's just letting people know that, that we exist, that we are part of everyday life. We are out there all day, every day, all year long. And we would like to be accepted for, for existing. And that's all it is. Just we exist. Please accept that. Well, absolutely. And my brother Joshua and my entire family um, would agree with that. You know, um, you you don't um, you don't have to um, actually identify w with a group, but you have to be there and uh, be open and supportive and and help to. Um, you know, um, I don't like to use the word fight, but help to advocate for um, great um, and more 
from human rights and um, social justice, and it's all part of uh, who we are or who we should be as Belleville, uh, the Quinty community, Canada, and I, I would dare to say around the world. Um, yeah, to add to that, Jeremy, um, there are places in the world where LGBTQ cannot safely travel. So if you're making plans to travel with your partner, with your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, then you're just looking at places you want to go. But LGBTQ can't do that. They have to pick and choose places in the world they can travel safely and not be beaten or killed or arrested. In some places in the world, it's still illegal to be gay. Um, here, it's obviously much better, much easier, but there is still the scorn, the verbal abuse, sometimes physical abuse, when all the all the queer community wants is to be able to walk down the street holding hands with their partners and be left in peace. That's it. And there should never be an issue uh, with that, you know. Um, and we've heard it before. Love is love. Um, you know, um, we're, not, um, we're not the people who should be, should be judging or getting in the way of such a, a beautiful thing, uh, regardless of who the person chooses or who the person falls in love with, you know. And it's, it's uh, you know, it's heart-wrenching to me uh, and all of us in this 21st century uh, that we're still, we're still dealing with these uh, types of issues when, you know, there, there's a lot more uh, troublesome things within the world that we could be focusing our attention on. I um, have had many um, uh, friends over the years um, who um, re realized um, for them that that's, um, they identified um, and they had a same-sex partner. As you mentioned before, we see in the media we see in the media often the heterosexual couples. And, and now um, I would dare to say um, uh, the tide is starting to turn in the media where um, uh, shows and stuff are presenting a more accurate picture of today's um, uh, you know, um, society. But uh, there's a long ways to go. Um, like I told you before, I went to, or we went to air today. I just told you an example, you know, and this is a different, different thing, and not to stray off too far, and then we'll get to some of the events um, and uh, reason that we're having you on as well today, is when Josh and I grew up, we would get, we would get teased and tormented um, not because of our orientation, uh, uh, you know, uh, we're we're straight, and and um, and that's not that's not to um, that's not to discriminate against anyone. But they would say to us, "Oh, we, oh, you're you're sitting down, you're in wheelchairs, you couldn't have any type of relationship." Well, that's not true. Uh, anyone can have any relationship they want, whether it's whether it's straight, whether it's same sex, or or any of the other relationship scenarios that can exist. Love is love, yep. and so I just wanted to um, uh, point that out. Um, do you have anything to add to that, and then we'll go from there? No, you're absolutely right, Jeremy, and I think you nailed it. Um, Two consenting adults is, is all you need to have a relationship. That's it. It doesn't matter who you are, how you identify, what you look like. None of that matters. As two consenting adults love each other, that's enough. So, yeah, the um, being, being bullied and teased uh, as a child is something that uh, every member of the 2SLGBTQQAIA++ community uh, deals with uh, on a on a daily basis, and unfortunately for a lot of our younger um, community members, they're getting bullied inside the home before they even leave, uh, and that before they even leave the house. And so 
that's one of the big things of why we why we want to do these events such as uh, you know Pride in the Park and the parade is because we need we need that pride to be a safe space and a and a and a, and a symbol of safety because they're not getting it now but if but if you come down there hey maybe only for a few hours you can be you and with, without anybody telling you you're not allowed to be you I'd like to add one more thing I did say uh, between two consenting adults and obviously that's that's fact However, teenagers fall in love, and there's nothing wrong with that either. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I wouldn't argue with you there, of course not. Um, and I'm glad you brought that up, because um, uh, that is um, the true reality, uh, that, um, you know, all people are subject to bullying every day. Uh, and many that we don't know, many that are never reported. For those individuals to be bullied because of their orientation or because of um, the way they feel, who they are, is fundamentally wrong. You know, I, I have and we have lost friends in our life that didn't accept who they were for whatever reason. It wasn't always an orientation thing, but it, um, sometimes it included that, sometimes it didn't. Sometimes they just didn't feel um, good enough. They didn't feel accepted. Um, uh, they were different. They, uh, they felt different. I, um, because uh, they're individual and they're Every person's story is confidential. I won't come right out on the air and, um, you know, say all the details. But I don't want to hear about any other individual that will take their life because they don't want to accept um, or, or they don't feel that they're accepted in society. And if we can start promoting a culture of full acceptance of every walk of life and be together, that's, and not to push religion, but um, that's um, what, um, that's what, um, in my opinion, was originally intended for the world. So, so uh, to coexist and we have to do that. So I want to move on. Uh, there's so much to say in so little time. Uh, so you are here today. Uh, the first thing we want to talk about is a brand new event, a brand new initiative, and it is an exciting event. Uh, if you've seen it on social media, Facebook, and other social platforms, it is the Unicorn Street Party. And it's an event open to everyone, as we said. We want the whole entire uh, community, uh, city, region, uh, and beyond to come out. And you guys are attempting to make... Uh, now, th this will be an unofficial record. And if we get enough participants, we will send, or you guys will send, your organization will send into the Guinness World Book of Records people. And um, tell us about the event, and we'll go from there. Which one wants to take this one? Yeah, I'll take that one. Okay, so I want you all to find your inner unicorn. Get your unicorns horns on and come down to Market Square and downtown Belleville June 1st. There's going to be a scavenger hunt starting at noon, and it involves 14 different downtown businesses. And what you have to do is get a passport. Scallywake Toys will have passports. Every store involved will have passports. Um, Doki Doki, I know, is involved. And who else will be involved, Victoria? Do you remember? Uh, Scallywag Toys. Uh, I believe the Upfront Cafe. Oh, the um, the place where you can break a bunch of stuff. Oh, the Shatter House. Shatter House, yes. yes. Plus a few more, 14 total, and you can hit any one of those. They will all have passports. You take your passport, you go into the store, you find the laminated unicorn that they have hidden, and you get your passport stamped. 
At the end of it all, you come down to Market Square, and you'll be there by 3.30. You hand in your passport, and you will be given a raffle ticket, and there will be draws for at least three prizes, and I've, I've seen them. They are epic, epic prizes. Well, and... Well, what time is this whole, whole event? So the whole thing starts at noon downtown. It goes through all of downtown Belleville. With, uh, with every passport you hand in, you will get a, ball- you will get a raffle ticket. Also, if you make a purchase at any one of these businesses, you take your receipt, you show it to us, and you will get another raffle ticket for that. So lots of chances to win. You don't have to buy anything, but if you do, that's great. Uh, this is great a great thing to promote downtown, to promote businesses downtown. And at uh, 3.30, we will do the draw. If you don't have a unicorn horn, that's fine. We will have a table set up in Market Square, as well as Scallywag Toys will be doing some DIY unicorn horns that day. So please bring the whole family. Now the head count, not done yet, Jeremy. Okay. Sorry, you keep trying to take this mic. <laughs> Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> so at 4 o'clock, we're going to do a head count. So be at Market Square at 4 o'clock, and we will count unicorn horns. We want to break 334. So we need 335 of our closest friends to come down with a unicorn horn and get in, that, get in that head count. And then we can send this off to Guinness and see what they say and tell them, sorry you missed it. Well, don't miss out on history in the making. And um, if everything goes as planned, we'll do our best to uh, be there. Uh, we've been dealing with a lot of uh, personal family things with my dad and his cancer, but we, we like to support um, everything community uh, where we can um, sounds like an amazing event that's on June the 1st and um, starts at 12 o'clock uh, now are you going to have some music and that type of um... Um, no there won't be music there will, Matthew will be there he's one of our members and he will do, be doing the emceeing at the market square we will have lots of bubbles Okay. okay we will have a merch table with lots of unicorn okay. stuff to buy so there will be fun stuff to do and I mean the vendors will still be at market square that same day and they're going to get involved too we're all very excited to have this. Well, that, that's just great. I do have to ask, and I'll be remiss, I'm not trying to bring politics in this, but I have to know, has Mayor Ellis uh, or members of council uh, or any dignitaries uh, said they'll be a part of this? Um, would love to see that. Great opportunity for, for them to get involved as well. Um, at this point, I'm not sure. I have to get back. Get, uh, sorry, I have to hear back from City Hall and email out to all the other uh, council. So I will be getting a hold of uh, the councillors uh, this week. Well, uh, that would just make a wonderful photo of all of us, um, you know, in our unicorn horns. And so um, I want to thank um, you for, um, you know, reaching out to the other side media group. Uh, we promote many things uh, to promote uh, people making a difference of all walks of life. I commend you on uh, what you're doing um, and how you are making a difference for rights. Now, we also have, or you guys also have, uh, many other events coming up. As we mentioned, June is Pride Month, not only here, but uh, across the province um, and many places in this country, um, pick that. Uh, other places pick um, different months, but generally speaking, um, everyone knows that Pride is in June at most most places that we um, hear about. Pride in the Park returns to uh, beautiful Swix Island, where we are, um, you know, today um, on the other side live, and. Um, so you might want to tell us a little bit about that. And the annual parade will make its return to downtown Belleville as well. So, uh, Victoria, are you going to take this? The Pride Parade uh, was started in 2012 by the uh, kids at the Say It Out Loud youth group. And uh, that year, uh, they didn't have permits, nothing. They just walked along the sidewalk from downtown to Zwick's Park. And that, that's what started it. It's grown. It's gotten bigger. Uh, we're doing the same thing from behind Jim's Pizzeria downtown in the heart of the city to all the way to Zwick's 
Yeah, Zwix Park. And we'll be down here where I'll be waiting for you. I will be the MC at Pride in the Park. And so come down, say hi, bring your family. We're going to have a great show. Uh, they're called Dolls on the Mic. They're drag performers. Queens of the Mic, sorry. They're drag performers who sing. They don't lip sync. So it's, uh, they're quite something. I've seen them live a few times, and I think we're really in for a treat. And uh, I, heard a, I heard a rumor that uh, we might get somebody flying by from the base. So stay tuned for that. Now, what a teaser. You must work in radio there, Victoria. Or, uh, you wanted to, didn't you, Victoria? We've known you for quite some time, and we've known you, Lynn. And um, we just met you today, Lyric. Uh, you're too shy to be on the mic, maybe next time. But thanks for being our studio audience. Now, I, I just... Uh, yes, yes. And I just want to say, and um, this is a question that... Um, would be on the minds of many, probably a question my brother would ask if he could have been here today, he wanted to be. Now, how do you believe, um, without um, being repetitive, but how do you believe so far, since you have been involved with the Bay of Quinney Pride local chapter, it has helped to um, change and transform community attitudes um, here and beyond. So, yeah, um, I guess, yeah, being a member of the 2S of the, uh, LGBTQQAIA++ community, the, the difference I've seen is we get more smiles. Of course, when we were in the Santa Claus Parade last year, we had a lot of smiles. You could hear people like, hey, hey, it's Pride. Hey, it's the gay folks. Or, you know, it, it's okay. We, we, and, uh, yeah, we had nothing but, uh, nothing but good things. And uh, seeing, seeing the smiles of people in the community when we're out doing something and they see themselves represented, mm -hmm. is, uh, that's why we do it. That's the, that's the payment we get is the, seeing the, the lights in their eyes and uh, knowing that you know what we we can be in a santa claus parade we can do this it, it doesn't it doesn't matter just because you know i always say you know when people ask about what's being gay it's like somebody watches seinfeld at home how does that affect anybody's life right? <laughs> <laughs> you know and so stuff like that pride like i say pride is uh you, you don't you don't want to be a symbol under a bushel. You want to have that pride up on up in the middle of the room. I think those are Jesus' words, something like that. But you don't want to hide the light. You have to have it up on a hill. And so, you know, the the Lions Pavilion, it's not actually on a hill, but it's close enough. So that'll be pride in the park, and we'll be starting that at 1 o'clock. Now, I did promise... Uh that I wasn't going to get too political here because this is um, this is about life and this is about you know a true story. Everyday people who um, you know um, you go through many different things. I, I would assume Victoria in your life since um, you have this this new um transition in your life i just wanted to find the most accurate word uh, you know all due um respect my friend uh and um i'm just wondering what do you think in your own mind personally that there needs to be a better advocacy for for uh the rights of um the whole community you remember you remember the acronym more completely than i do so um i'll let you say that but in terms of um not only here locally but provincially and federally what what would what would some of the things that you would be looking for or the pride group as a whole not just bay of quinney but as a whole would be looking for uh, for um, better accountability here and across the country and around the world. So it it starts in the home, um, and it starts with education. We need to educate people. Um, touching a little bit of my origin story, uh, 
beating your children to, because they're gay because you want to toughen them up and be straight will never ever work and so we need to we need to get a hold of those families who are who are just you know not allowing their son or daughter to be their son and daughter and say no you were born as this and you have to be this those are the those are the folks we're trying to reach and i know that a lot of those people uh happen to be conservative and i would just like to say that the conservatives and the 2s lgbtqqaia plus plus community have the same thing in common and we want less government intervention in our lives and i think we can agree on that and hopefully we can find some common ground uh because yeah the way they're going you're you're only hurting your child's development later on in life yeah. and so it's education education and of course representation um to piggyback on what victoria just said yes we want to protect our children too we we all have children whether we're trans gay bi whatever a lot of us have children just like anybody else and we want to protect them um as victoria said beating them is not protecting them that's not keeping them safe allowing them to be themselves is protecting them that's what's keeping them safe in future years that's how you have to do it is you have to allow your child to be their most authentic self let them explore things they're going to make mistakes they're going to they're going to say i oh, will this is how i identify and that's going to change or it may not and that's okay you support them that's all you have to do is just support them well absolutely um you know our children are pre- precious they're our next generation everyone should and be able to be themselves and so we're quickly running out of time but i just want to um add um there's so many things but, but we'll have you back thank you for opening up and and being part of this very um engaging special program today i hope it um shed some new light um i hope that um our community can come together Uh, and so show the solidarity and support for all of us it would mean the world um can you tell us um where people can find out more information about um Bay of Quinney Pride the Unicorn Street Party Pride in the Park and all those amazing things and we need all people to come together more volunteers are needed we'll go from there thank you very much um yeah you'll find most of that information on our facebook page bay of quinney pride some of that information and our our um code of conduct and our mission statement will be found on our website bayofquinneypride.ca but if you hit our facebook page you will find all of our events listed there if you would like to be in the parade if you want to gather up some people and and uh be a part of the parade then you're more than welcome to go on the website and find the link to that we still have room for some vendors and we've always got space for volunteers there's always always a need for that so thank you very much Jeremy uh, you know i really um, enjoyed having you on today and i'm um, getting your perspective and i i wish you all the very best with um these events coming up and we'll we'll see you again uh, real soon um um and um let's um help stop the stigma um surrounding um um you know um, not only pride but any any of our um, differences that's what makes us canada that's what makes us unique and um and that's why i'm canada proud you know so thank you very much this has been the other side live with lynn victoria and our studio audience lyric uh, at Swix Park. I'm Jeremy T. Davis. We will see you next week, and be sure to come out and support Pride where you can all month long. Cheers. The Other Side Radio Show is a production of the Other Side Media Group in association with 91X. You can connect on Facebook at the Other Side Media Group, Instagram at Jeremy Tyler Davis, or on YouTube at Jeremy T. Davis Belleville, Ontario for on-demand episodes and more. Tune in next week for another episode of the Other Side Radio Show.